Got to. Is it true though so, some of the kids that have a problem at home and then bring it back out and make sure they're brushing out and within their their group to show them that if they're being put down at their home, they'll they'll re react more so friendly with the same kind of vengeance that's being brought on them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because where do they get it out at? My daughter has a friend who's been acting out lately, okay? And my daughter brought it to me. She said, Daddy, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about my friend because she is doing things that we know are abnormal right now. So I said, Anaya, describe what you're saying. And when, I, when she told me, I was like, got it. Something going home, because I'm a trained clinician, I said, something is going on elsewhere <laughs> But she's going to take it out on you. And my daughter was like, she has. She's been beating us up lately at school. And I said, Anaya, don't take it personal. She's hurting. Hurt people what? Hurt people hurt people. And they got to get it out. But what she needs to see from you, Anaya, is consistency. So when she's attacking you, go to hug her. You know what I'm saying? Because she got to get it out. And when somebody acts out, believe it or not, like I tell foster parents all the time, or I tell school staff, when a kid acts out, that means you're safe. Because if you weren't safe, they would be even, they would be guarded. But then they can let their inhibitions out because I can say what I want to say. So we wonder why do teachers get cursed out? I can't curse my mom and daddy out. They're the perpetrators of my hurt. But Miss 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 Danielle, I curse her out because she can't put her hands on me. But also, I know she cares about me, and I got to get this rage out. I got to get this rage out. If you're going to work in this program or any program that resembles this. Please study about child and, and behavior patterns. Because a lot of things will make sense to you. Okay? So now, going back, and Danielle, you, you said it eloquently. And you said it too. Something happens with a young lady in this program. Please notify your, your head person in charge. It has to be documented. Okay? Understand that it may be pursued and a hotline call has to be. Do you all know the hotline call number? 1 800 25 abuse. Now, I don't know the number by heart because I'm so used to 1 800 25 A B U S E, but that's the hotline um, number. Okay? But you got to make that child feel safe. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Mine too. Absolutely. Absolutely. There are hospitals, if you all didn't know, around the city that cater to children with psychiatric issues. Lower Beta Hospital. Are you familiar? Okay. Heart Grove Hospital on the west side. That's Laramie. And, and I'll, Jackie, I'll send you this information too. Um, Hartgrove Hospital is on Roosevelt and Laramie on the west side. There's another hospital called Rivers Edge Hospital. On the south side, St. Bernard Hospital. Okay? Little Company of Mary. Okay? Christ Hospital. So, and believe it or not, these hospitals stay booked. Because there are a lot of mental health issues going on with our children. Our children are crying out. Okay? But the one thing as I wrap up this presentation, because I know I only got 30 minutes and if I stayed, I'm sorry. But this is so important. The one thing that I want us to know about kids, and we know this, they are the most resilient people on earth. They're resilient. They're survivors. They we don't give them credit how smart and talented and wise they are and how strong they are. They're stronger than us, you know? But they still need the protection of the adults who they are around, okay? 
you have any questions for me, anyone, this is the time. Please pick my brain. Because you know what's going to happen on Monday or whatever, Tuesday, or whenever you're back to work, something's going to happen. That's how it just kind of fits in the world we live in. And because you, 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 you're going to be more conscious of it now. And you'll be like, wow, I had Khalid there and should have asked him what if. So any what if questions? Yes. I know we talked about uh, adult abuse of children, yes. but what if the abuse is from another student, like yes. the LBGT, we're all girls group, and what if another student is pursuing another girl for courtship? How do we follow, what is, steps should we take if a girl is being pursued by another girl? Okay. One of the things that I tell organizations is post your rules. Poster rules and make it somewhere, make it a bit like that poster right there, make it visual. And maybe one of the rules is this is not a place for romantic pursuits. We have to respect everybody's individuality, race, creed, <laughs> color, sex preference, what have you. Okay? Then if a young lady comes to you and say, um, Angela is hitting on me and she's making me feel very, very uncomfortable with that. That's all she has to tell you. Then we have to have a conversation with Angela and her parents. You can't just do it with Angela by herself because it can be taken a different way. Uh, you're not honoring my rights as somebody who sees themselves as a lesbian. No, it's not that but you cannot make someone else uncomfortable. I understand that you, you have a liking for, for Tammy, but Tammy, you made her feel very uncomfortable. She's only looking for friendship, if that. And then we gotta have a discussion with the parents. Because sometimes things happen as indicators for something else that's going on with that child. Danielle? Got you. Then you have to have a session for sensitivity. You have to have a session for sensitivity, especially because this is a program, okay? And you have to address the needs of your audience, of your clients, anytime. If I feel like I am being treated unfairly at the VA because I'm a male by a female supervisor, they have to address it. They have to, because it becomes a liability. And you can't not take it serious. Because what you might feel doesn't bother you, it may bother something else. I have this thing, because I'm a nice guy, and I think I, in, a, in a past life I was from the South or something, but I like calling female friends sweetie. I was even doing it at work, because I'm comfortable. But then someone like Khalid, you can't call all the women sweetie. You cannot do that. Even though you're doing it as like being, um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yes, but some, it takes one person. Say if somebody was molested by somebody who called them sweetie. That word is a trigger for them. Now I didn't know it and I wasn't trying to perpetrate nothing bad. But you never know. So you got to call people by their name. You know, us men now, we know we can't take liberties like we used to because we don't know how things affect. I might hug somebody. I know it's nothing romantic, but that person gets uncomfortable. We got to address it because then you'll put yourself at risk. It's not even a person you hug. It's someone who watched you. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Men in working with opposite sex clients, we have to be very careful. You know what I'm saying? You all, if you work with boys, you boys, <laughs> teenage boys get crushes real fast. 
especially if you're treating them nice. And to be honest, boys, that's our goal. Man, this 27-year-old want me. Man, I'm going to tell everybody because they don't hold no secrets. <laughs> boys gossip worse than girls. We gossip. And you may just have been nice. Try to treat him friendly, but he took it the wrong way. Like, she liked me. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be careful. Remember, kids are still vulnerable population. Okay? But don't lose your motivation because you're doing something phenomenal with these girls. I'm a living witness for a child who is benefiting with being in different programs and she her, her, her star is shining. You know? This is a wonderful program. You don't need anything bringing anything negative around. And again, if kids are brave enough to bring certain subject matters to you, honor them by being their hero. Okay? Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. And we can see physical signs. What should you do? Give me an example. Um, someone who comes in with different Correct. Because of that. That's a wonderful example. Um, do an interview. And if you're comfortable, do one with Jackie or another supervisor. I'm not sure of the hierarchy here in this organization. But sit down because you want to witness. And be ready for the person to deny at first. To deny. And in that kind of situation, you let them know, okay, if you don't want to discuss, I understand, but just know that we're here. Just know that we're here. But if you are seeing bruises, you also have to go and tell the parent. Now, you might say, but what if the parent is the one who is the possible abuser? So if you're seeing that, like a teacher, if a teacher sees, I spank Anaya, Anaya goes to Kenwood and she has a whip on her arm, that teacher has to call 1-800-25-ABUSE because that's what you got to do next because you are seeing marks on that child, okay? You got to be safe than sorry, okay? Did I answer your question? Okay, and then trust your instincts. We're adults. We've been around for a minute. You know when something just don't feel right, okay? All right, any other questions? Any other thoughts? Okay, I'm kind of sleepy. <laughs> you know, it's a pleasure, and Jackie, please have me back. Yeah. I do trainings on a multitude of social work, psychological um, type subject matters, you know, from bullying to team building or whatever, whatever, you know. But it's just, it's really important that we start being mindful, especially with the culture that we in the society that we live in now. You know, folks need help. I have a um, waiting list now. I'll never be unemployed, never. And I can appreciate that because that one, you know, I, I, I gotta take it to Macy's. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go to McCormick and Schmidt and get some steaks. So I need to be employed. But please keep doing what you're doing and keep enjoying it because you're changing lives, okay? All right. Thank you much. All right.